the community. Now back to the details we uncovered on the incredibly large amount of money Jim Valenti could get if he's with UMC through the end of his contract. ABC 7's Darren Hunt continues our complete coverage. It's a story you'll see only on ABC 7. Darren? Rick and Estella, this deferred, uh, deferred uh, compensation action plan here, signed back in 2005 and amended in 2006, states that Valenti will receive a large percentage of his base salary for every year he's been with the hospital if he stays CEO for another year and a half. The total he could receive would top $3 million over and above his base salary and bonuses. Now, here are the numbers. The contract states Valenti will receive 30 to 32 percent of his base salary in deferred compensation compensation from 2006 to 09 and it escalates from there 34% in 2010 and 11 36 in 2012 and 13 40% in 2014 and 50% in 2015 and 16 again if he stays employed at the hospital through May of 2016 the deferred compensation per year would range from 93,000 to more than $230,000 plus a remarkable feature that boosts the total deferred compensation by another 57% percent to cover the taxes on that amount. Would, now, Valenti's current so, annual yeah. base salary is nearly $460,000, meaning he would earn about $184,000 in deferred compensation this year, plus that 57 percent tax kicker. That does not include annual bonuses, which he has received every year since arriving at UMC. This year, he received a bonus of $120,000, despite the layoff of more than 50 employees. His bonuses have ranged from $105,000 to $148,000 over the nine years he's been employed here with the deferred compensation package. Valenti could receive nearly $870,000 for this year's work, all of it taxable. Late this afternoon, the hospital held a finance committee meeting. Afterward, we caught up with Valenti. We also approached, uh, we also uh, ca caught uh, um, Vince Pettis, county commissioner, earlier today, who has been critical of Valenti's contract. Uh, we've received your, your questions today and we've responded, and so it's better for our board uh, chair and our, our chair of the compensation committee to really address that. Now, the deferred compensation, I think, if done responsibly, uh, could be a valuable tool. But the issue that I've always had is, given this year's financial difficulties, um, why was Mr. Valenti awarded a $120,000 bonus on top of all that? Now, Valenti added after that uh, that his deferred compensation package, he believes, is very much in line with other hospital CEOs across the country. Estella. Okay, Darren, thank you very much. And the time now.